One thing that has never changed about superheroes is most of them are good-looking and ripped, especially the on-screen versions of your favorite Marvel characters in the MCU. You'd be surprised at what Marvel actors have to do to get swole for their roles, and we're here to let you know that you could end up looking just like Thor. Or you could not follow their intense and grueling workouts and become Fat Thor. <laughs> that works too. Chris Evans is in pretty good shape, and he didn't have to get injected with Super Soldier Serum to look like that either. That's the scary thing. He's been hitting the gym for nearly 10 years to get in shape to play Captain America, and it's definitely working for him. He didn't just get in shape either, he stayed in shape. What Evans does in the gym may shock you because he's constantly doing all different kinds of exercises. He doesn't really have one strict routine, it's not CrossFit, it's not a bodybuilding workout, and it doesn't focus on powerlifting. Instead, Chris Evans does a bunch of different exercises like pull-ups and, of course, classic bicep curls. What's surprising about his workout is how simple it is. You could go into any local gym and do them all by yourself, but probably with some lighter weights. <laughs> Over time, you can work up to becoming a beast like Chris Evans. Speaking of the name Chris, why don't we take a look at another hunk with the same first name in Chris Hemsworth. If you've seen any of the movies Thor's in, well, other than Endgame, then you know Hemsworth works his butt off to get in shape for the role. Have you seen his arms? They could give Hulk Hogan's 24-inch pythons a run for their money. Unsurprisingly, Hemsworth never skips arms day. His trainer makes him work out his arms as much as possible without overdoing it. In fact, the bicep workout he does is completely insane. He's got these muscles working overtime, that's for sure. The God of Thunder knows how to bring the thunder in the gym. While Chris Hemsworth is already a pretty big dude, he's not always jacked. He tends to put on about 20 pounds of muscle to play Thor and slims down a little bit when he's not filming. Let's get into the final Chris in this video, the third Chris, Chris Pratt. He's a guy who's undergone a heck of a transformation to go from chubby comedian and Parks and Recreation star to Star-Lord of Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Just to warm up, Pratt takes a three-mile trail run before he does three sets of 120-yard hill sprints. Yeah, just saying that is making us feel exhausted. Whew. Then he went through an intense training regimen for Guardians of the Galaxy, where he worked for three to four hours a day and ended up losing around 60 pounds in six months. Absolutely incredible, Chris. He also had to give up alcohol and limit himself to a 4,000 calorie a day low carb diet. On top of all this, he even did swimming, boxing, P90X, running, kickboxing, and so much more. This all just goes to show you that if you put your mind to it, anything is possible. While Robert Downey Jr. plays Iron Man, who's one of the few heroes without superpowers, meaning he doesn't need to be super ripped, he still works out to keep in shape. While he may not seem like it, RDJ is a self-proclaimed yogi. He's worked with yoga teacher Vinny Marino, who's regularly led him through some power yoga flows. It's no secret that Robert Downey Jr. has been through his fair share of personal issues dealing with alcoholism and drug use, but he credits part of his sobriety to yoga. It's improved his health and well-being, keeping him on the straight and narrow. While yoga isn't the most exciting workout, it has a huge mental component as well as keeping the body loose and improving strength and flexibility. It must have helped him in the fight against Thanos and more importantly, his inner demons. Now, a lot of people don't mind going to the gym, but the problem is they get bored of it too quickly since it can become monotonous to work out alone day in and day out. That's why you see a lot of people using the buddy system and working out with a friend. It turns going to the gym into a social event. This is exactly what Scarlett Johansson did to get into amazing shape to play Black Widow. There's no denying that ScarJo is the perfect actress to play Black Widow. She's constantly working out and nothing had to change for her role as Black Widow. Well, at least not too much. Who's her friend that she'd bring with her for her workouts? None other than Sebastian Stan, who plays Bucky Barnes in the MCU. To spruce up her workout, she'd sometimes join Sebastian and his trainer to prepare for a shoot. Sebastian Stan is very close to his personal trainer, Don Saladino. It's safe to say that they're bros, with Stan saying Saladino is a big reason why he's in such good shape for his role as the Winter Soldier, and they're still working together to this day. Stan loves Don just as much as Bucky loves Steve. It brings a tear to our eye. The key to Stan's workout routine is to keep it heavy. While most bodybuilding workouts center around lifting lighter weights with a lot of reps, Stan and Saladino love to do big, bulky lifts in their workouts with much lower reps. Clearly, it got the job done because Stan is looking killer as the Winter Soldier, the White Wolf, Bucky Barnes, Steve Rogers' bestie, or whatever he goes by now in the MCU. The actors we saw in Avengers Endgame have been a part of the MCU for at least a couple of years, but Brie Larson, not so much. She hasn't played a superhero role or any role that required her to get insanely fit at any point in her acting career. 
Yet it's as if she's been preparing for the role of Captain Marvel her entire life. She only started training for the role when Infinity War was released, which, if our math is correct, means she only trained for nine months to get absolutely ripped to play Captain Marvel. That is beyond incredible. Man, if only we had someone to cook super healthy meals for us and keep us on a strict workout routine, maybe we'd be in incredible shape too. Seriously though, Brie Larson deserves so much credit for going through the ringer to be the perfect actress to play Captain Marvel. When we first saw Tom Holland play our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man in Captain America Civil War, we were beyond excited. This is one of the fan favorite characters in all of comics, and he was finally in the MCU. We were also happy that we got a teenage Spider-Man, who's super relatable for the MCU's younger audiences. While Tom Holland may be one of the youngest actors in the MCU lineup, he's still an adult and more capable of kicking some serious butt. Holland didn't just want to look good as Spider-Man, he wanted to look great, so he got into the ring at a boxing gym. He's been boxing for a few years now, and it definitely helps when it comes to fight choreography. This all means that those abs are real, and he was actually involved in those fight scenes because he knows how to throw a punch. Or two. Or three. Chadwick Boseman sounds like the name of some super posh British dude, <laughs> but nope, it's the name of a badass actor who plays the Black Panther in the MCU. In most interviews involving superhero movies, the questions seem to always revolve around workout and staying in shape, which is why it was refreshing to see Boseman not explain every step of his workout regimen in great detail. Since Black Panther and Infinity War were both shot around the same time, Boseman's routine was essentially doubled as he prepared for both movies. Finally, he ended up opening up a little bit about what he did to get in shape, but remained coy. He mainly focused on strength and flexibility training and mentioned that he might be covering up a little bit of his workout. Look, Chadwick, it's not embarrassing to do yoga. Robert Downey Jr. does it all the time. No need to be shy, buddy. If you think getting fit only involves constantly working out three times a day, you'd be wrong, but not completely wrong. While exercise is important, it's not everything. What you put in your body is just as important, and Elizabeth Olsen, who plays Scarlet Witch in the MCU, made this perfectly clear. Her nutritionist, Philip Goglia, has openly discussed Olsen's fitness goals for the future, and she's really focused on body composition. This means she had to completely restructure her diet. She eliminated gluten, dairy, and yeast completely, and even started having seven to eight meals a day, consisting of fruits, vegetables, chicken, and fish for protein. We don't know how she does it without a single cheat day, huh? We'd be dying to scarf down a whole pizza after just a few days on this diet. But clearly, some people have stronger wills than we do. Dave Batista has always been an animal. In fact, the animal was his nickname in the WWE because he was insanely powerful, capable of throwing full-grown men around the ring like it was a walk in the park. We sure he could still do it to this day, but he's retired now and we'll definitely miss seeing him go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best in the business in the ring. Now, to the most MCU fans, Batista is known for his role as Drax the Destroyer, who's very good at making himself invisible by just standing still. According to Batista, it was Josh Brolin who inspired him to train even harder for his role as Drax. Brolin went from an average build to absolutely jacked, which made Batista go from ripped to super insanely shredded ripped, we guess. We just love seeing friends inspire each other to get better. It's amazing. Zoe Saldana has always been in good shape, so she really didn't need to change too much for her role as Gamora in Guardians of the Galaxy. Since she was already in incredible shape, she decided to keep her current workout routine going, but just add a little bit more spice to it. She spent countless hours each and every day working on her stamina and endurance, so she could kiss some serious butt. This means Saldana needed to work for long hours on set, which is why she and her trainer decided to focus on cardio and strength training, especially building up her core, since it's vital to most of the crazy moves she has to pull off. This also meant, just like Elizabeth Olsen, she had to follow a very strict diet made up of mostly plant-based food with no added sugar and very little carbs. That requires tremendous dedication. Karen Gillian has done a lot of work to prepare for her role as Nebula in Guardians of the Galaxy franchise. Her workouts were focused on building muscle, since she's never done any strength training before being cast as Nebula, so they involve squats, barbell deadlifts, and other weightlifting exercises. She also continued to work on her cardio by running and cycling, so she could make it through those long days on set. Then she started doing some martial arts training. She really had to start from scratch and learn how to fight since she never did any of it before. Lastly, she changed her diet and began to drink protein shakes, apples, and almond butter to help her build up muscle she needed to play Nebula. Gillian pulled out all the stops to truly become Thanos' least favorite daughter, and it all shows on screen. She's a brilliant Nebula. Sticking with the Guardians of the Galaxy, we have Mantis, played by Palm Clementif. While the Mantis we got in the MCU is an extremely watered-down version of the comic book one, Palm still trained as if she was going to be the badass Mantis from the comics, and we commend her for that. 
Pom Clementif already learned how to box for her role in the Old Boy remake in 2013. That also starred Josh Brolin, but completely flopped at the box office. Anyway, on top of that, she has a purple belt in Taekwondo and trained multiple days for months before the shoot with coaches and fight choreographers so she could really get that Mantis physicality down pat, even if she didn't use it all that much. Man, we really wish we got the comic book Mantis, but we still love some comic relief Mantis. Paul Rudd just doesn't age, which is something he has in common with Rob Lowe and John Stamos. But those two aren't MCU actors. If you remember that shirtless scene in Ant-Man, then you know that Paul Rudd is in really good shape. In fact, he's in the best shape of his life, and he's in his 50s now. The guy legit looks like he's still in his early 30s. He's probably immortal. What's his secret? Well, according to him, if you eliminate everything fun in your life, which we assume means junk food, binge-watching superhero movies, or a combination of the two, then you can get in good enough shape to play a superhero in the MCU. Rudd cut out all carbs, red meat, and sugar from his diet and decided to pack in the protein. We also assume he hit the gym fairly often because those abs just don't come out because he eat well. Evangeline Lilly is another MCU actress who worked her butt off to get in shape to play the Wasp. While a lot of people complained about her not being used properly in the first Ant-Man movie, Marvel Studios held nothing back with the Wasp in Ant-Man and the Wasp, giving a female hero equal billing to a male one for the first time in MCU history. Lily doesn't count calories, but she's very careful for what she puts in her body. If she can't pronounce it, she won't eat it. It's as simple as that. If we didn't eat things we couldn't pronounce, well, we'd never eat, and we'd probably spend too much time reading ingredients. As well as her strict diet, Lily focuses on proving her strength, endurance, and flexibility, but she didn't do it through yoga. Instead, she went through a lot of stunt and fight training so she could hold her own during shooting. Michael B. Jordan is known for taking roles that really challenge him physically. Did you see how he looked in Creed? The guy must have 0% body fat. Sure, that's technically uh, impossible, but we can exaggerate from time to time. To play Eric Killmonger in Black Panther, Jordan ate six meals a day and worked out three times a day. As you can tell, he's extremely dedicated to getting in the best shape possible. That means drinking a gallon and a half of water per day and having a super clean diet rich in protein, vegetables, and a whole lot of rice. Jordan's workouts focus on conditioning and bodybuilding, meaning a lot of running and weights, weights and even more weights. It's a shame Killmonger only lasted one movie. He was easily one of the best MCU villains of all time. We hope at least one of our theories about him coming back is true. Sticking with Black Panther characters, we have Denai Guerrera, who plays Okoye. You know, the one who said there was an earthquake off the coast of Wakanda in Avengers Endgame? So we came up with a really believable theory about how it was foreshadowing Namor. Yeah, that one. Anyway, we got a little sidetrack there. Guerrera is one of the most interesting workout routines out there. She learned how to use a sword. Now, this might not be surprising to all you Walking Dead fans out there, since Guerrera plays Michonne, a very skilled swordswoman on the show. While Okoye doesn't use a katana in the MCU, Guerrera found that strength training really helped her prepare for taking on the character in Black Panther. After seeing how amazing Okoye was in the movie, we'd say that training definitely paid off. We do not want to mess with her, that's for sure. While Nakia has only appeared in Black Panther and has yet to be seen in any other MCU films, that doesn't mean that Lupita Nyong'o slocked off when it came to getting in shape for her role. In fact, it was the exact opposite. She put tons of work in getting into shape, spending hours and hours a day into the gym, before moving on to just two hours a day after gaining some muscle. That sounds grueling, but she absolutely loved every second of it. Then again, Nyong'o took part in a six-week boot camp before they started filming, gaining strength, stamina, and flexibility so she could do all the stunts required of her. The boot camp definitely worked because, supposedly, Lupita Lupita couldn't fit into her clothes when she went home for Christmas. Luckily, this is the one time not fitting into your clothes is actually a good thing. To this day, she continues to train hard and put on muscle. For our last entry, we're going to talk about Thanos. Uh, we mean Josh Brolin, who plays Thanos. He really worked hard to become a 10-foot tall, 1,000-pound titan. It totally wasn't CG or anything like that. Seriously though, just because Thanos was mostly CG doesn't mean Brolin didn't get in shape for the role. He got ripped, and it showed for his role in Cable in Deadpool 2. He immediately lowered his carbs, getting rid of sugar, bread, and pasta. No pasta? That's impossible! For his workout, Brolin went to the famous Gold's Gym, where he performed drop sets and other exercises with his trainer, Justin David Lovato. He's really dedicated himself to looking good, but his role as Thanos came with a price. Now every time someone looks at him, they see Thanos, and that must be tough to deal with on a daily basis. <laughs> Just kidding. We're sure he loves it. And those are just some of the MCU actors who had to get swole for their role. Were there any actors you want to hear about that didn't make the list? Let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to subscribe to CBR for more MCU videos. Thanks for watching.